Our project today is going to be to make ourselves a box out of this, this piece of foam core. It had something on this side, but no worry, we'll cover it with a clean piece of paper or something when we're done. But it, it's perfectly good, it's nice, nice. And I thought what we would do is make it to the, for the inside of this, this old frame, I have it laying around. Maybe we'll bring it out about an inch. Okay, so, so what we'll need for this project, we're going to need a square. So this is a, a square, a small carpenter's square. If you've got a bigger one, look in the workshop, there's probably one around every house should have, have some kind of a square. And we'll use cutting knife, Here, here's an alpha. We're going to use some tacky glue. This, you get this in a craft store. It dries nice and clear and it's thick and it'll hold things in position while the glue sets. Really good stuff. I've used it for a lifetime. We'll need a pencil. We've got another ruler here that might come in handy. And what else? That's about all. Okay, so what we've got is, oh, tape measure. This is 13 and a half by 12. Our frame is 7 and 3 quarters by 9 and quarters. 7 and 3 quarters by 9. So 7 and 3 quarters, 8. Yeah, we'll go this way. We'll cut that off at 7 and 3 quarters right there. Square, because it'll square it up on that side. And we're going to come here, 7 and 3 quarters. Let's go a little bit in from that. Let's go 1 16th in from another 7 and quarters minus T. Now from here, we're, we need, we're going to have four sides. So if we, um, if we want, we can uh, mark it all right now. So as long as I got four inches left over, got lots of lots of room. So one inch apart. You know what we could? Since I don't have anything uh, long enough, we've got the molding. We can use this as a, a nice longer straight edge. Get our knife out. It's one. It's important to have a, a real sharp blade. And if your blade gets dull, use some of that naphtha that we talked about uh, that we used to clean our labels off with. It's great for cleaning the. It's great for cleaning the blade. I've got my cutting mat that we discussed in earlier uh, that self heals so I can cut without damaging anything. Feels like my blade's getting getting a little. So what I'll do is I'll take some naphtha and clean the blade. blade so it'll stay nice sharp. It just uh, builds up foam that's inside board, builds up on the blade and prevents it from cutting nice and clean. There we are. Now we've got we've got our our section and the way they're gonna work is they're, they're just gonna sit on top of this like this we're gonna glue them all in there like that and butt them against each other so uh, this one we want nine and three quarters so starting on the inside it's got uh, starts at one here it also starts at one there but we're gonna use this one and come down here and mark it just the 16 inside nine and three quarters square it should be all we'll need and I always cut straight up and down if I can so there, now we've got that. Now let's see if, if, if we did if I did it correct. It's perfect. Nine and three quarters or minus on there. It's gonna be just perfect. Okay. So now we take our tacky glue. In fact we can even I can even spray paint it and cover up all my marks, almost anything. That's one that's how I made the uh, the box for the shadow box gotcha. more tacky. Yeah, I get this tacky glue in the craft store. In the craft store, salt back down for 30 years ago. So now we've got uh, one more thing. Is we'll take a take a book, take some like another board, dry it up. And once that dries, we'll be done.